Hello everyone, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds, and I have a short haul for you today of some vintage items that I have recently sourced. I went sourcing last weekend. I had like a 43 or 42 item haul, but I just pulled out all the vintage pieces and I wanted to show you those separately so we can talk about them a little bit more. But yeah, um... I'm excited about them. I get definitely way more excited about vintage pieces than anything else, but obviously they are harder to find, especially like good vintage pieces that are worth picking up and for the price and the condition and all that. So, and as I've said before, I'm always learning. Like I don't claim to be a vintage like expert or anything, but I have definitely learned a lot in the past couple of years about, you know, different labels and styles and all that stuff. So, most of this stuff will probably go on Poshmark and Etsy and maybe a few on Depop. Like, I find that vintage does well on Depop, but it has to be like the right vintage, like, like sort of like streetwear, like 80s, 90s, Y2K stuff. Um, this stuff is more like, more like a formal... I wouldn't say formal wear, but like maybe 50s through 70s stuff. And some of it, um, I'm not I'm not quite sure about. So if you are a vintage expert or if you know something about any of these items, please let me know. Because I would love, I would love to get your advice. <laughs> so um, this first piece I'm going to show you, it's a piece I'm hoping to keep myself, but I literally just took it out of the bag and I haven't tried it on yet. But it seems to be a size that will fit me. <laughs> I'm thinking it's like an 80s vintage, this dress. It, I think it's about, it's, it's kind of see-through. <laughs> I might need to wear something under it. But it is like a knee length, maybe a little below knee length. It has these like, the straps button and they're adjustable. The tag says Sue Sherry of New York. Um, never seen that. It does have the um, the union tag printed on to this tag, which I don't think I've ever seen before. Um, yeah, it doesn't. It says it's a size fourteen, which is the vintage size fourteen. So that's why I'm like, mm, maybe it'll fit. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking eighties on this, but I don't know. It is very cute though. And it did come with the tie and everything, which is fabulous. So that's my first piece. Next I have this like sheared top dress, which is so adorable. It comes with this like pretty wide tie that goes around the waist. And yeah, these also like same style as the first one that buttons. I don't know why they do that because it only buttons on one side so it's not like you could wear it strapless or maybe you could tie it tie like a halter i don't i don't know <laughs> if you know the reason for that let me know but it's very stretchy unfortunately all the tags have been cut out but you can tell that it had a vintage tag in it it says size 12 um Machine wash warm, blah, blah, blah. It says something New York. So I don't know if anyone recognizes that. It might be this, wait. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. It might be the same company as this other one. Because this one says Sue Sherry, New York. It says New York at the bottom. I'm thinking they might be the same company because I got them in the same place. So maybe it's that Sue Sherry. Um, it does have it union tag in the scene so i don't know i never heard of sue sherry new york but the dresses are adorable i will always pick up like vintage high-waisted shorts because they're like awesome and people wear them um these ones were super fun I'm, i don't know if they're 80s they zip up the back which is awesome <laughs> and they have like this um they have like a hook and eye style impacts is the tag i don't know if there's a size no there's no size um my best 
guess I'd say maybe like a four or six. They're not like super tiny, but yeah, they're really fun. I love these like high waisted shorts. <laughs> Very 80s. Um, and possibly 90s. This one is exciting because it still has the Lomans tag on it. And Lomans is a store that has not existed for a while. Um, it said it was 19.99 at Lomans. Unfortunately, the tag has been cut out, so I don't know what the brand is. It doesn't say on the tag, but it is just like a seersucker like pencil skirt. And it does have like a little stain on the back, unfortunately. I've not tried to get it out or anything, but it is no tags, dead stock is what you call that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So that's a size 12, but this is absolutely not a size 12 today. I would say maybe a 6 or an 8. Which is why I always get excited when I find things that are in my size, because most vintage stuff is so tiny. This sweater. So pretty. Look at these beads. Like, it does have a little hole. But this beading is so gorgeous. There was like three sweaters just like this, but this one was in the best shape, so I took this one. Um, this one is actually made in British Hong Kong. I want to say like a 60s sweater. Um, if you know anything about this, let me know. It's very soft. It's lined inside. It has these pearl buttons. I love this. It's oh, it's so cute. This doesn't have a size, but I'm going to say it's probably a small. But that would look really cute with like a circle skirt or something. And it's like, like it's flowers, but it looks like it could be like snowflakes. <laughs> so it's kind of like wintry to me. You know, very pretty. This one I was excited about because I've never seen a vintage Bobby Brooks tag in real life. I know if any of you know anything about Bobby Brooks, they like sell it at Walmart now, like it's like an old lady brand. But back in the 60s, Bobby Brooks was like fashionable and like the young young people were wearing it. This is just a plain brown sweater. It's very tiny, like maybe extra small. It's uh it says that it's a hundred percent height bulk something two points acrylic fiber i don't know but this bobby brooks tag i'm pretty sure on the vintage fashion guild this is from like the 60s so this would just be a cute little basic to wear with you know something on the bottom that was had a print or whatever it's pretty brown it's very soft it's very like it's in good condition i don't see any holes see any stains the tag is just kind of hanging off, which is really not a big deal because you kind of like stitch that back if you really wanted to. I didn't look if there was a any sort of inside. Oh, maybe, maybe it does have a size. No, <laughs> the tag is just like blank. Whatever. I mean, I'll measure it and put it up. <clears throat> this one is super cool. So this is... um made in Norway. It is Trondenheim. I'm not 100% sure if this is vintage. I, I, I think it is. Like, I don't really know much about this brand, but this is like a, a, a Nordic hand knitted wool sweater. And these buttons are so cool. Look at this pattern though, like on the back. There's pattern on the sleeves. There's a little mark there i like i say i don't like wash anything unless it's like really bad and this is wool so i'm like i'd be a little nervous to wash it um i mean i'll disclose any sort of stain but oh my goodness this is really really nice so there's that one there's another dress this may be handmade i'm not sure but like back Back in the day, like, handmade does not mean less quality. Like, people people knew their stuff. People were, people knitted and sewed at home and 
they made like professional looking stuff like this is just like a drop waist pleated sleeveless pink dress it's I don't know. yeah see like this looks handmade to me the inside there's no tags it's not that I've found but yeah that's the stitching on the hem yeah I so I would say this is probably about a small maybe because it I think it's supposed to be like loose fitting wear a little sweater with it or something it's cute I have one more this pair of Lee shorts I I almost didn't get them and then I looked inside and I saw that they are a size 12 I'm not sure if they're supposed to be they were pants or like they originally were like this but here's the Lee tag the back tag is gone but yeah, this is an older Lee. These are like so short. Like the inseam is is short. <laughs> these are these are ass and these dukes. A whole butt cheek hanging out of there probably. Like <laughs> and they're size twelve, so I would say I don't know, modern day eighteen maybe. Yeah, but there's I mean there's not a lot of starch to these. They're I was like, well, if no one's interested in them, I may just paint them. I don't know. I think they're cool. They're really cool. The color's good. Yeah. I'll go with anything. I know it's obviously not short season. I mean, it is for some places in the country, but not in Massachusetts. So, yeah. Um, so that's my vintage haul, and hope you enjoyed it. I, you know, hope that... You will comment if you know anything about any of these pieces or any of these brands or anything. So, sorry, it's buzzing. Okay. <laughs> I will put up the rest of that haul at some point later in the week, maybe the weekend. There's like probably another like 30, 30 ish items that I need to show you. But I wanted to just get started on this vintage stuff and, you know, researching it and all that. So, thank you for watching. And give a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And have a great week. Bye.